truck. So this is sort of a strange thing for us to do because we're still at the cottage in Kawartha and we're kind of doing like a, a middle vlog like during our time here. So we're gonna have two videos to post. But while we were here, I was like, oh, let me like look up haunted places in the area because you know me, As I love exploring do, you know. <laughs> haunted things. Hey, let's go on vacation for a little bit and let's try and terrify ourselves exactly. in the area nearby. That's exactly what Sounds I wanted to do. Yeah. I love it. So I immediately found out that only 20 minutes away from us, there is the most haunted road in Ontario. So I was like, okay, we have to go. There's this rock there. It's called Haunted Ghost Rock. And there's also a really terrifying legend on that road. So I'm going to read it for you guys. I can't memorize it. So I'm going to read it. And then I'll also talk about some other really strange phenomenons that happen there. And we're going there. We're only how many minutes away? 19 minutes away. I'm so excited. Are you excited for the haunted road? No. Not really. Probably no. not. This road has been the site of many interesting phenomenons as well as the birth of many legends. One version of the legend goes that sometime in or around the year of 1957, a young man was testing the limits of his motorcycle on an old concession road up on Skogog Island. He was on a straightaway and pushing the engine as fast as he could, but the road is short. So he soon realized he was running out of room and was quickly approaching the intersection where the ninth concession meets. About a hundred meters from South End, near a large tree, he lost control and plowed into a field. He caught himself on an old rusty barbed wire fence and was decapitated. Some say his head bounced off the rock. Some also say that he simply banged his head on the rock that is still located on this road and he met his end that way. It is in this story that goes along with the reports of the large round white light heading down the road that when it passes you, it then turns into a small red light. And people also say that there's the occasional sound of a motorcycle that you will hear when you're on this road but obviously a lot of these things happen at night and we're going there during the day so I don't think we're gonna see the phantom motorcycle light we might I don't know but there's also while I was reading this stuff I found out that there's other things that happen during the daytime at this road which we might experience so people also see ghostly beings that isn't just this motorcycle guy but other ghosts like ghost children they say that if you go there and park your car or put it in neutral you'll feel the ghost children either pushing or pulling your car down this road when you're not moving it on your own which is really really creepy apparently if you stop under the big tree you'll also feel this mysterious like magnetic pull towards it some people report having their car completely die on them out of the blue which we do not want because we need to drive more today other people say that their camera battery dies mysteriously their phone battery dies they get no reception in the area there has also been a lot of UFO sightings here, so aliens. So what um, you're telling me is there was a young guy driving recklessly yes. with his gang of toddler motorcyclers <laughs> while aliens were watching that affected the magnetism of trees. Yes. And that's what this entire road is. That one crazy event is what we're going to see. Yes. That just sounds nuts. <laughs> See, I've heard some stories in my day. That's a bit much. That yeah, bit it much does more. seem like a bit much, but like it's crazy how like over the decades so many people have reported seeing stuff here. So it's not like it was just one person who was like, oh, I saw the motorcycle guy. No, like every person that goes here reports either seeing something, hearing something, or feeling something strange or having their car like being pushed or pulled, which is really creepy. So we're gonna head there now. Apparently the ghost rock that this motorcyclist hit his head on and passed away is still there and over the decades people have been like putting graffiti on it they've been painting it different colors i think right now the current color is like a lime green and someone wrote like ghost rock on it so we're gonna go there i kind of want to get a picture with the rock because i'm just weird like that and it also but, works uh, with your instagram meters. it does i have a green instagram feed so i might work for that i'm wearing green today just in case <laughs> anyways we're gonna be there in 15 minutes now i'm so nervous but also so excited and uh yeah Okay, we just parked. We arrived at the road. And our car died. <gasps> <laughs> our car didn't die. It didn't. I just turned it off. <laughs> We're beside a really creepy swamp. Hold on. It's not focusing. Look at that. I'm pretty confident that's just somebody's property, kiddo. It's still a swamp. I'm scared. I'm scared. The road's really creepy. It's like a dirt road. And there's horses. See, look at this land. This land is really creepy. I think we came at like the best time because it's before 
where all the trees make everything look really pretty. It's nice and spooky. We just need a nice layer of fog. I should have brought my fog machine. <laughs> I always should bring my fog machine. It's also like a really gloomy day too, so kind of perfect. So the rock is definitely lime green. That is for sure. That's how we spotted it so quickly. Let's see, it says ghost. Oh, it literally says ghost rock on it. Someone painted it green. But look at this road. It's really eerie. I mean, those horses are making it much more pleasant. This is the road. So we're at Pine Point and the Mississauga Trail. Oh my gosh, there's lights. Tell me that's a car. Please tell me that's a car. We just uh, took a photo of Tumnus on the rock. We'll show it <laughs> right now. But a lot of people driving by just staring at us. We haven't seen anything weird. We haven't really listened though. There's a car pulling out. What are they doing? Okay. People are definitely thinking that we're weird tourists right now. <laughs> like people are creeping by staring. I haven't heard or seen anything weird. The light that was there before was just a car. How do you feel here, Ty? Do you feel... It's gloomy and like weird for sure. It's giving me a little bit of a nostalgic feeling being a horse farmer right there. I realize that Tumnus has never seen a horse before, so he doesn't know how to feel about the really big dogs right there. <laughs> the really big dogs there. I mean, I, I don't feel weird as far as I know. But where's this big willow tree that they mentioned before? Is it that one over there? Or it might be that one right there. It doesn't really look like a willow tree, but it's the biggest trees that I see in the area. We're gonna go get a closer look, but I feel like I need to sanitize my hands now because I was taking Instagram pictures there and I was like touching the rocks and like, people clearly come here a lot because there's glow sticks like littered all over the grass and like garbage and stuff. So who knows who's been here and who's touched the rock aside from me. All right, we're gonna see if the car works. We're good. We're good. I was a little worried. Thank goodness. And how's our phones? I haven't checked actually. Is your phone working? Did the battery die? I'm pretty confident this phone here is ghost proof with how massive it is. Yeah. It can be used, you know, to make kind of poor calls. Like even in good reception, it's like kind of eh. Good at fending off attackers and ghosts it seems. It's basically like carrying a brick in my pocket all the time. It's great. Here's some footage of inside the car of Ghost Rock. So I'm not, uh, arborist of any kind so i don't know what would be a willow as far as i know i think willows are supposed to be droopy but if that's the case but it might just be that they're growing in because it's you know it was winter right yeah they could be these could be the willows the thing is though i'm a little curious because they mentioned electrical disturbances but there appears to be electrical meters and all that stuff right there so it's a very brave place to put it if there is ghost activity yeah that's true or they're just harnessing <laughs> the power they're taking all the ghost power. lightning ghosts i mean that's what we're dealing with if you have it, this. use it. Anyway, it's actually weird. It's getting sunny now. So am I supposed to put the car in neutral and just wait and see oh, what happens? Oh yeah, we have to see if the car gets pushed. Okay, so we're underneath the canopy of what hopefully is the willow tree. Well, if the infant ghosts are here and would like to push our car. Make us go fast. Make us go fast. Okay, we're in neutral. This is just to show that we are in neutral. My foot's on the brake. I'm going to take it off and we're going to see what happens. Okay, ready? Yep, go. Not moving. <laughs> Feet are away. Feet are away. I don't feel any movement. Do you? Watch, there's a safety feature in this car that makes it so we actually can't move in neutral. <laughs> no movement. Nothing. Not yet. Just Tumnus looking at the horses. Come on, let's just do this. Let's see if we can kickstart it. Come on. <laughs> this car might be too heavy for a bunch of kids. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Doesn't well, seem like we're moving. No. Or we're under the wrong tree. It could be that. Could it could be. be. But this is the biggest tree on the street. I mean, it looks spooky enough. It does look really spooky. All right, guys. Well, we came, we saw. There might be something scarier in footage. I feel like every time we do like a ghost hunting video, you guys find stuff that is really spooky <laughs> that we don't see. So let us know if you saw or heard anything and let us know if you've ever been here. It's definitely a spooky road, I'm glad we came. But now we are going to Port Perry to meet with my parents and you would have seen that in the cottage vlog. It's kind of weird, we're doing this back and forth, but. We've been just been <laughs> doing everything out of order. I know. I mean, it keeps things interesting. We're filming it like people film regular films. Exactly. Just completely out of order. So you just kind of have to guess where you are at certain points. Remember things or forget things yep it's interesting it's we got a whole production going on now <laughs> anyways i hope you guys enjoy this little ghost hunting video and we will see you in our next vlog bye, bye.